All right, I got something really cool to whoop on you today, and I hope you're ready for that. All right, I'm going to give you a preview, and then we got to talk about something. All right, something pretty serious. On my desktop, I've got three folders, orange, blue, silver. How can I use Power Query to import the contents of just one folder at a time? Blue is selected here. Go to the drop down list. Silver. Data. Refresh. Oh, we got silver. Let's get orange. Orange. Hot dog. All right. That's what I'm going to show you how to do. In the passing parameters video, I warned you get this working, don't go out in the street and do something crazy. But I got several reports. One of them, Larry Stoddard, Marquina, Ohio. Got the parameter passed, everything's working, he's excited, felt invincible, ran outside into the streets. Flock of geese out there. He didn't go around it. He went through it. The geese hissing, honking, doing that thing with their necks when it starts going up and down. Now he's at home all bruised up and with lacerations from this goose attack. His 15-year-old daughter, Coral, she saw this. She ran outside and kicked some of the geese. Now she's facing $1,500 worth of fines. Look, we are here to whoop crap data, not geese. And we have to contain ourselves when we get exhilarated about new Excel skills, okay? We can't just lose our minds. All right, we've got our drop down list here set up with our folder names. Now this is the parameter that we've got to pass because this says what folder we want. All right, so we've got to do this query. Data from table, right? There's the orange, drill down. Let's retitle this, wanted. All right, whatever we want to call it. Okay, file, close and load to. We just need this as a connection. Next, we're going to do our import. Okay, get data from file from folder. Now I'm going to navigate to the folder I want. Just grab one of the three. Okay, so there are two files in that folder. So we're going to go to combine, combine, and edit. I'm going to select sheet one. OK. Here we've got both files worth of data. Let's close and load that. Close and load it to. Existing worksheet. And let's put it right here. OK. We've got blues data where orange is selected. All right, so let's get these two connected. Let's go to the blue query, edit it. Let's look at our queries. Okay, uh, view advanced editor. All right, now watch this. Okay, get rid of blue, delete that. There's our double quotation marks around our file path. Now we want and wanted. We've put our variable in. Let's click OK and we're going to get an error. Formula dot firewall. And I've done a lot of research on what this means and I've found various solutions, but it's hard to understand what the hell this means. But here is one solution. We're going to go to File, Options and Settings, Query Options, Privacy, Ignore, OK, Home, Refresh. 
now it's working and you see that it shows orange so let's close and load and we see that this does work let's pick silver refresh now we've got silver but what if we are not comfortable changing that privacy setting now the solution gets a little bit more tricky all right we've got to play around more in the m code so let's go back and change that privacy setting all right okay refresh now we've got this crazy error again now Imka Feldman Wynn Hopkins and Ken Pools have helped kind of sort this out and figure out how to handle these things so I appreciate that Imka she explained that there are a couple of solutions here the Ken Pools solution is to take these two queries and break them down into three her solution is to take the two and bring them into one. But for whatever reason that's inside the Excel witchery, doing the two query solution is no solution. I'm going to show you Imka's way, all right? Let's look at our queries. I'm going to go to Wanted, View, the Advanced Editor. Let's copy this copy we don't want that let's go here advanced editor and I'm gonna sit this down at the bottom here okay just paste it in let's make some room here because I want to bring in that parameter first cut paste here we've got all of the steps that we need, but we've got to get it all linked together based on what the M code needs to function for us. So here our source is our parameter that we're grabbing and we need a comma because every line in the M code needs a comma except for the one right before N. Okay, and we don't need this anymore. Okay, so we've got folder.files and then my file path and it says and wanted but we don't want it looking at that query anymore we want it to look at that club step so I'm gonna put club here and rather than source we've got to name that something else let's call that custom one and then in that next row, we've got to change source to custom one. Now we've got an error. The variable name change type is already defined in this scope. All right, we've got change type in that third row. We don't need change type again. All right, let's just get rid of it. delete that we've got to get rid of the comma right before the N and we can't have change type we want to refer to the extended table column one get rid of this this is the step that we want copy paste will this work we're gonna find out done oh there's silver there it is let's close and load this and let's see if it does work blue refresh oh we've got it there it is two ways to use a drop down list to point to a specific folder and import only that folder's contents. I hope you get this working. 
And if you do, don't wind up like Larry Stoddard. Leave the geese alone. <laughs>